I'm not going to show a further enhancement that you can make to working with connectors for the standard and advanced levels of C Electrical V7R2. So instead of the electrical toolbar, I'm going to switch now to the functions and I'm going to go into database and I'm going to create a new part number for a connector. So I'm going to go into there. I'm going to choose a particular group. I'm just going to choose IGXAO. Scroll down and add a new connector part number. So I'm just going to create one as being six pin male. Uh, six pin connector and I'll just put in here that it's a connector group type of symbol. So that's my category. There we go. Now as soon as I click underneath I've got a list of properties that I can put with that particular part number. Um, at the moment we've got a list of properties but the one I'm looking for is called pin numbers. So I'm going to type in there pin numbers. I'm adding a new field, a new property and as soon as I click on that field to the right, I can see it allows me to actually, in a dialog, define how that pin is set up. Now the pin ID will always be numbers, so I'm going to type in there IDs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Uh, the pin names could be letters, numbers or the name of the signal. So in this case I'm just going to call those A, B, C, D, E and F. So I've now got a six pin connector, a male one in this case, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select that one, go into functions, copy the selected type, and just go across the left. And it's going to find that one, copy. I'm just going to change that and call that female. And I'm just going to double check on the pin numbers that we have the same information on there, which is fine. So I'm going to click on OK. I have two new part numbers. 6 pin female, 6 pin male, click on close and what we can now do when we click on here is search for a type and I'm going to type in here 6 pin and I'm going to choose here that we're going to have the female so I've assigned that and I can see that on the right hand side so I click OK and now it's picked up the first IDs in there so we've got pins 1 to 3 um, if I change one of those around and say that's actually pin number one as well, I get a red box uh, saying warning me that that's not allowed, that's not a legal move. So I'm going to put that back to two. Um, if I want to search, I can click on DB and I can see which pins are available. So I have the option there of picking from the available ones. Oops, just need to put that back as pin number three. Um, which also means as I copy that across, if I hold down control, if I use the same information, you can see it's automatically picking up the next connection points. So it's guiding me as to what I can use and what I can insert and, and place on there. So creating the uh, part numbers gives you a distinct advantage with being able to define the connectors, keep track of them if you're placing them individually throughout the project, uh, and be able to make sure that you've got the right pins from the right connectors.